Hello there fellow electronic enthusiasts and hobbyists. In this creative Arduino tutorial, we are going to learn about DHT11 that is temperature and humidity sensor and we will integrate with our Arduino board and possibly we will use it in some future project as a key component. So without any delays, let's get started. Before we even start with the connections and code of this project, first let's understand what a DHT11 sensor module is and how it works. So DHT11 sensor module is basically a analog to digital converter which can convert the temperature and humidity into a digital form and it can be sent to the microcontroller for further processing. So this module uses negative temperature coefficient and digital signal acquisition methods to convert the temperature and humidity into a signal that is easily readable by microcontroller. There is not much to talk about the working as you can find many more videos on the internet which can uh, show you the components present inside the module. With that being said, let's move on to a hardware. The operating range of DHT11 sensor module is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius which is quite sufficient for home or hobby purposes. And guessing by its cost and nature of use, this sensor is not exactly accurate but it works just fine for few simple Arduino projects. The module that we have here has DHT11 sensor, few complementary 10 kilo ohm resistors and an LED light. So you can use the sensor stand alone if you want to make your project compact and simple. But I like to keep my things very simple so I'll use this module itself. The DHT11 sensor module has three pins that is VCC, data and ground. The VCC and ground can be connected directly to the Arduino's VCC and ground pins and the data pin can be connected to any digital output or uh, digital I.O. pin. With that being done, let's move forward to the code. For code, we will use the DHT library which you can find it in my instructables post or simply google it. Once the library is installed, we will open up the example from the library to test our module. This example by default considers the sensor as a DHT22. So let's change that by commenting the line and uncommenting the DHT11 line. That's it. Upload the code and open your serial monitor. Now if you see the temperature and humidity readings on your serial port, that means everything works fine. But if you get a message like fail to read sensor data, that means you need to check the connections or check once again if you have connected or selected your DHT11 sensor properly. So that was the easy part. Now let's try the temperature and humidity readings on the LCD screen. If you don't know how to use an LCD with Arduino, make sure to check out my previous videos on how to interface LCD with Arduino and how to create a custom character. Starting the code by addressing the libraries, defining the DHT data pin, DHT module type, LCD setup and we will define a custom character for degree Celsius symbol. Next, in void setup, we will do the basic LCD configuration and in the main loop, we will define two variables for temperature and humidity which will store the value from DHT sensor. The syntax here is DHT.read humidity and DHT.read temperature where DHT is the name that we assign to this sensor in the initial steps. And next, we simply print those values on the LCD. That's it. So you successfully learned the DHT11 sensor in this tutorial. So that's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Mission Critical to get some awesome updates on Arduino projects or any other upcoming projects that are related to engineering and electronics. With that being said, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.